Zachary says, thoughts on Mission Impossible 8's production troubles and the budget nearing 400 million. So it is being reported from the, who was it? The Daily Mail that Mission Impossible 8's production is in all kinds of trouble. So there's a couple of different things going on here. First of it, it, it talks about how 40% of the movie was shot before the strikes. So last year, there were the actor strikes that lasted, what, three, four months. And they shot shy of half of the movie. Then all of that happened. And that only balloons your budget. But other thing that's happening here, if you've seen the last movie, a lot of it involves a submarine and the attempts to recover something on the submarine is what the plot of the next movie will be. And so apparently they've got a submarine that just keeps malfunctioning. That this is like a $25 million submarine that does not want to work. So the the budget of the film just keeps skyrocketing to the point that now it's being reported it might be as much as nearing $400 million. This is not guaranteed to be true. All of this could be just faulty reports, exaggerated reporting, any, all, all of that fun stuff. But the budget of the last film also ballooned. Also had delays because of COVID. And so it's there's a reason that it, it rings true, that this sounds familiar. This happened with the last one. Um, what is shocking to me is that Paramount would let it happen a second time because the last movie did not do great. The last movie lost money where it cost $300 million. A lot of that was because of COVID and then it made significant several hundred million dollars less than Fallout. Cost more, made less. That's not good. That's the wrong trajectory on everything. And then this one looks like the budget is only going up and I don't know that it's likely that this one would do better than the last one. Just because of the current trajectory. The last one was coming off of a hit film that people loved, coming off Top Gun Maverick, got great reviews, exciting trailers. And like maybe you can say, oh, Barbenheimer threw it off. Maybe. But also it came out before Barbenheimer and it opened soft. It was underperforming before Barbie and Oppenheimer. So this one, does. we don't have any reason to think that this movie is going to suddenly skyrocket its box office to, uh, it just seems like this movie's in a lot of trouble. Unfortunately, I, I thought the last one was really good. So um, I don't know if it's true. Yikes. There's, there's no possible way that they can make a profit on $400 million for a mission impossible. Like, you know, there's that out there chance that suddenly the eighth movie is going to just that wildly outperform the rest of the franchise, but that's what it would have to do. It wouldn't just have to be the highest grossing. Like it might break even if it's the highest growth, just the highest grossing. It has to be the highest grossing by a good bit to actually be distinctly profitable with at $400 million. That is so difficult to do. So the total gross of the last movie was $567 million, which if your budget is reasonable, that's a good amount to bring in. If you spend $291 million on your film, it's really tough to be profitable. And if they're spending $400 million on the new one, it's just, it's just setting themselves up for utter failure. Most of these clips are pulled from my Patreon live streams. I do about six live streams every single month for $2 per month, $20 per year. You can get access to all the exclusive videos and live streams for $5 per month. You get your name on my end card. At the top tier, you get a 30 minute video chat with me each month. The link down below in the description has more information.